thinking, I'm thinking about you After all you did and I hear you brought me through I'm out of pain want to welcome you to our midweek Bible study. Uh, tonight is Wednesday, April the 31st, 2022. Wow, last day of the month and we're in September. This, this year is just flying by. <clears throat> uh, you know, for all of our uh, calendars of events or if you like updates, you know, in current uh, events of the year, you can text uh, SOCCI to the number 925-203-6980 for our updates and current events. Text SOCCI to the number 925-203-6980. <clears throat> okay, so uh, it's always a privilege and an honor humbled you know to be able to sit on this side of the screen and share some findings from the bible even some research excuse me testimonies and things like that you know i truly believe that on or before the end of this segment you know that we would have some information that we can actually use some tangible information that we can actually touch you know we can actually do something about it you know and so pray and hope you know that you would you know, tag some names, hit your like, share. We're going to talk about there's a cure for cancer. And there really is a cure for cancer. And that's what I've been excited about for the last, I mean, five weeks. You know, I've been talking to you about this amazing, you know, uh, information that we receive, you know, as to every sickness, every illness comes from the colon, it comes from the colon, you know. And so what we... What we've got to do is that we have to detox, you know, our, you know, colon, you know, to be able to um, experience, you know, witness how the body heals itself. 
you know, we've been spending too much, too many years, too many times, so much time praying and asking God for healing when, when God already prepared the body, fixed that thing, you know, to heal itself. And all we had to do was, was know how to take care of this body. And, you know, we'd be living the, living life and the abundant life here on this earth. I, I made mention, you know, um, last week, you know, that up to this day, people are moaning and groaning in pain. Now, it's one thing, you know, that, you know, the people of the world, you know, are moaning and groaning in pain, you know, without any consideration of, you know, partnering up with God, you know, and his ways of doing things. But man, if we Christians are moaning and groaning just like the people of the world. So when I say people of the world, I'm talking about those who who do things, you know, uh, opposite of the way God does things. You know, if we're suffering ourselves and we believe in God, you know, we worship God, we praise God, and we do everything, you know, uh, to show our, you know, our respects and honor unto our God, you know, then why is it that, you know, we are just as sick as, if not more sicker than the world? You know what I mean? I mean, what's the difference between, you know, for every two marriage in the church, there's a divorce. To me, it's the same thing. It's the lack of knowledge, you know, of how, you know, to handle your marriage, how to, you know, to cause your marriage, you know, to be successful. It's the same thing as the body. You know, the body is, you know, the body of Christ or the church, you know, we're, we're you know, the sickest I've ever, you know, seen in in uh, the many years that I've been on this earth, you know. Um, and so we got to talk about these things, you know, and we saw it in Romans chapter 8, verse 22 to 23. It says, we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. So we're, we're you know, right up to the present time, verse 23, not only so, not only the people in the world, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit. Interesting, huh? We groan inwardly as we wait, you know, uh, eagerly for the adoption uh, to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. I mean, you know, we we just want we just want you know out of here. You know what I mean? Because the way we pray. The way we pray, it needs to be, it needs to be, you know, we've got to redo this whole thing. You know, we got to uh, re reboot, you know, our praying ideology. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it, you know, uh, the way we are praying, the way we're praying means that we're, we're, we're telling God what to do. You know what I'm saying? And then when when the answer is not favorable or we don't get the answer that we want, you know, then we say, you know, God called them home. Uh, it is the will of God. You know, blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, it, it's just amazing, you know, how we, how we, you know, interpret or this idea that God is that kind of God. You know what I'm saying? That if, someone died in a car accident that it was the will of God, you know what I mean? Or someone, you know, died, you know, from, you know, it's, it's always the will of God because it's the easiest thing to do because we don't know because most people, we quote scriptures, but we don't know, you know, um, how basic it is, you know, for us to take care of this body. You know what I mean? Um, so, but but what about the others, you know, who who like you also pray? Because if 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 you know, because you know, like you have people, you know, that pray, right? And they've gotten to them they've gotten a favorable answer, you know what I'm saying? And then we say it's all God, right? But what about the other person who believes the same God that you believe in and you pray for your loved one? And this person loved the Lord with all their heart, 
prayed to God for their loved one and yours lived and theirs died. What about that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, is God like split? Is, is, it, is it a split God? Is it a God, you know, that... So, you know, does God favor one prayer and not the other? It, it, it's no wonder why, you know, there's a massive exodus, you know, in the church. You know what I mean? We are, we're not, we're not God's, uh, you got to understand this. We're, we're not, we're not God's consultants to tell him what to do, you know, uh, to provide him with expert, our expert advice, you know, by throwing him, you know, our silly ideas. You know what I mean? But, but scriptures clearly tells us, you know, how good success will be yours. It's always good to go to the scripture, but then again, you know, you know, we, we want to take scriptures face value. You know, you want to take scripture face value, right? I see, I hear people say you got to take scriptures face value. Okay. Let, let, let's talk about this just for a second, right? Take the scriptures face value. What do you think Jesus meant when he says, eat my flesh? What do, you, what, do you think, what do you think he meant when he said, eat my flesh? What do you think Jesus meant when he says, drink my blood? You see what I'm saying? You cannot take scriptures face value. You see what I'm saying? Because the Bible is not what it is written. The Bible is what it is interpreted. But he, he, he gives us, you know, the, the whole responsibility of our health is on our lap. Is, it, is, it is in our control. It is not in God's control. You know, God is, God is not going to do nothing for you. He's not going to do nothing for you. He's given you the authority is giving you the power to to make things happen to turn things around for your own life you know i mean um i mean jesus himself you know jesus himself i mean you see he prayed you see in, in the garden of gethsemane he said take this cup away from me you know and then quickly he said nevertheless not my will but thy will be done why because he knew god sent him here on earth on an assignment when he was on the cross, he said, Father, why have thou forsaken me? Did God answer? No, God didn't answer. Why is that? Because you're on an assignment. But it wasn't until he said, it is finished. The curtain ripped in two. You know what I'm saying? Earthquake happened. It's done. It is finished. Disease is finished. Sickness is finished. Pain, virus, infirmity is finished. Poverty is finished. Lack is finished. Everything is finished. You see what I'm saying? But here it is. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. King James Version. We, we got to read. We got to read the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, otherwise, you know what? Get get ready. Get ready to, to bury the loved one. It's, it's, it's you know, I mean... It's harsh, you know, you know, that I say what I say, you know, but I mean, we, we are we are the total uh, problem. We are the ones I mentioned last week, you know, the scripture says, you know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And then I said, you know, well, have you ever asked that, that maybe the weapon that's formed against you is you? Maybe you you are your worst enemy so in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 in the king james version look what it says very clear right here the book of this this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth in other words we've got to read this book we've got to understand this book look what it says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night meditate in their day and night that thou mayest observe to do look at this this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You see what I'm saying? But you shall meditate therein day and night. You shall meditate in this book day and night that you may observe to do. Not God. 
that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you, not God, shall make your way prosperous. You make your way prosperous, not God. Look what it says. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you, and then you shall have good success. Do you see how that works, everyone? That, listen, that means if, 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 you, if you don't meditate in the Word of God, meditate in the Word of God is, is being able to study and go over it. You see what I'm saying? Study, go over it. Pray, study, go over it. Pray for understanding, study, pray, go over it. You know, um, until you find scriptures, until you find scriptures like, you know, some of the scriptures in Revelation, the leaves of the trees are for the healing of the nation. You know, the leaves of the trees. And that's what that's that's where all of our nutrients come from. That's where our minerals come from. You know, like we found out, you know, that sea moss that comes from the sea, you know, it's got 90 minerals in sea moss that our body needs. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to get no minerals from no snicker bar. You're not going to get minerals from a bag of chips. You listen to what I'm saying? You're going to get mi minerals from the leaves of the trees because they're for the healing of the nation. Right? It's, 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 it's not just any kind of success that you're going to get, but you're going to get good success if you observe to do all that is written therein. Then you shall make your way prosper. You make your way prosperous. So meditation is making sure, you know, that, that, that his word does not depart out of our mouth. You, you see, you, you see, you see, you know, like, you know, like, like a, a high jump track star, right? High jump track star. You even see, you know, basketball players, you know, at the free throw line, you know, they're, 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 you see their mouth moving. You know what I mean? You see their mouth move. You see the high jumper, you know, you know, they're, they're, you see their mouth moving and and their head is like this you know they're standing right there they're meditating they're counting they're actually they're actually visualizing meditating visualizing the steps they're, 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 up, they're like this then they see themselves go over the bar see themselves go over the bar that's what meditation is. Meditation is not locking yourself in a dark closet and just humming in there. You see what I'm saying? So that when we know God's will, when you know God's will, we understand our limitations that after we have done all that we can, after we have meditated all that we can observe to do, we be quiet and do what we've imagined to do. You see what I'm saying? And then everything that needs to happen to us will happen to us that's what separates us from the world you know what i'm saying i mean the, I, I gave you that scripture last week about genesis chapter 11 verse 6 how the world is one you see what i'm saying uh and and the lord said behold the people is one the people of the world is one man i pray every day hoping you know that the church could for once be one in our belief system you know what i mean and the lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they began to do and nothing will be held or restrained from them which they have imagined to do let's talk you know like like when they built that tower of babel you know scriptures in there in in genesis chapter 11 where it says that god literally came down from heaven to see what the people of the world were doing he was so amazed everyone that he left his throne and here we are in the church we want to bombard his throne hell let's bombard the throne of god you know not god left his throne and came down here to find out what the people of the world were doing and he found out this is what he said and the lord said when he found them behold the people is one and they uh, have all one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do man they, they 
so you know like there 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 is a cure for cancer like i said you know um and, and here's the thing the cure for cancer doesn't need any of our rituals it doesn't need any of our loud prayers it doesn't need any of our praise and worship it doesn't need any, it doesn't need any of our speaking in tongues it doesn't need us to jerk nothing it, it, it's 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 a it's like it's like something practical that we have to do if we want to be well you see what i'm saying god said study his word he says study his word and don't let his word depart from your mouth and there and, and then it says and then meditate in them to observe to do and then we will see good success so you know here, here's the here's the best thing about all this you know the cure for cancer of this dr renee and things like that you know amazing story you know uh that renee her name is renee wellhouse and her her system is called the 21 day cancer doctor you know she was known as the 21 day cancer doctor and it isn't some kind of a unique you know miracle worker she's she's not like a miracle worker she's not like a benny hen traveling here and there traveling there you know she don't need no choir you know she don't need no b3 hammond she doesn't need no you know no nothing no gimmicks she just has practical ways practical you know things you know uh steps step one step two step three you know what i mean in order for you to be rid of cancer or any sickness that you have you follow what i'm saying uh it, it, the, 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 there are you know like they're like dozens of you know alternative uh cancer doctors you know who achieve the same amazing results not just renee every day using the same treatments uh they they used you know what i'm saying and 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 what's here, here's another thing 21 day 21 days you know um uh isn't just a figure you know that dr renee pulled out from the hat 21 days is about the average amount of time a patient needs to be treated at the world's best alternative cancer clinics you know um i have a dear friend of mine you know uh I'm not going to mention his name, but he's a pastor. You know, he grew up underneath my my uncle's ministry in Hawaii, Moana Lua. You know, and then they they transitioned with the family, came over, and was underneath the leadership of my father, Matefale Toina, in San Francisco. And then you know he was he was uh, sent to pastor a church in Southern California, and. He he went to a holistic, you know, uh, in Oregon, holistic uh, clinic in Oregon. Checked himself in there, you know what I mean? Left his home. See, the things that you have to do in order for you, you know, to fight the good fight of faith. He left his home, left his church, left everything, checked himself into a holistic clinic in Oregon, the man is still thriving to this day. Got rid of, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just unfortunate, you know, uh, but but his wife, you know, passed on before him. It, it, it seemed like he was going to pass first, you know what I mean? But he, he checked himself, checked himself into a holistic clinic and came back and he's still alive today. You know, so see each person is different some people need to stay four weeks you know what i mean others can leave in in two weeks but 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 three weeks or 21 days is the typical amount of time it takes you know to put your cancer on the run you see or put that disease on the run and here's the thing and it doesn't even cost that much you know what i'm saying excuse me if, if you can afford a car, you can afford treatment at one of these clinics. If you can afford a car, you can you can afford you you can for you can afford twenty one days times ten treatments. You see what I'm saying, everybody? And in many cases, you know your 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 you know your insurance will cover it. You know other so what we're saying here, everyone, is that it, it, 
some, at some point in time, you know, we've got to, you know, like put together some cohesive, you know, thought process, you know, get, get, get our minds, you know, in a place, you know, where, you know, we can actually know instead of keep saying, you know, that God, you know, works in mysterious ways, you know, stop that. Stop saying, you know, God works in mysterious ways. No, the scripture says that it is the will of God that you know the mysteries. You see, God wants us to know the mysteries, but he, he's not going to show it to you. He's not going to, he's not going, to, you have to go and study it. You have to do a Joshua chapter one, verse eight. Now, I mean, this Dr. Renee, you know, she, she, they were, you know, they, they, they grilled her, you know, they grilled her to make sure, you know, that what she's saying is, is up to, is up to par and everything, you know, you know, um, but, but here's the thing, you know, um, I mean, we're coming to a close, you know, to, to this, uh, to this series, you know, but. The forbidden cancer treatment number two was banned in America. You know, the, the, the most scientifically advanced cancer treatment you can get on planet Earth was banned here in America, and it cost a tenth. It cost a tenth of what U.S. treatments cost. Maybe that's what, you know, why they, they don't want you to know about this treatment is because you know, there's no money, there's no real money to make. You follow what I'm saying? So many of the world's best cancer clinics uh, use this therapy. You know, I, I call it the number one treatment in the world of cancer. I mean, it's so important, you know, that you, you know, when, when Joshua chapter one, verse eight, talk about, you know, meditate there in day and night, you know, uh, make sure you, this word doesn't depart from, it means do your study. It, it means, you know, like you're hearing me right now, talking about holistic clinics you know you your, your fingers should be busy right now on on you know on the website you know looking for you know the nearest you know holistic clinic that's around you and get your colon cleaned out you know what i'm saying you know a lot of a lot of us you know we pray we we pray to god for what we won't even do nothing about you know what i'm saying we, we 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 pray for god you know to to heal us of cancer but we won't do nothing about it we'll just sit there you know what i mean and rot you know so reporters you know uh you know grilled her you know to see if uh she was on an up and up you know this is the treatment this is the treatment the one we kept hearing about every where you know she went everywhere she went you know she, and, and that's all they heard of was so m many doctors and 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 caregivers you know were were grilled you know just the same way you know dr renee was grilled to make sure you know she was you know on the level of integrity you know what i'm saying they talked to her they they interview her patients you know and many who are alive you know today you know, thanks to the treatments, you know, you can only get from an alternative cancer doctor at the world's best holistic, you know, clinics. So again and again, you know, these doctors, you know, told us, you know, that, you know, that that one very special therapy was clinical, I'm sorry, was critical to the amazing success rate they've you know, racked up, you know, against cancer. So I've come to, you know, to the conclusion of this, this series on there's a cure for cancer. Okay. You can go, you know, watch, you know, the past five Wednesdays and, and find out for yourself. If you're just now tuning in, this is the first time you heard that there's a cure for cancer that every sickness, every disease, every poison comes from the colon. It comes from our colon. And what we need to do, instead of, you know, trying to get ourselves clean before God, you know, get your heart clean before God, man, clean your colon. 
clean your colon. Watch what you eat. You know what I'm saying? And you will see, you will see your body healed without even, without even God performing a miracle. See, it's not a miracle. If God created the body to heal itself, and when the body heals itself, because you give the body what it needs, it's not a miracle. It's just basic, you know, it's just basic biology, you know, by God. This is the way it is. Faith without works is dead, brothers and sisters. I don't care how spiritual you think you is. You understand what I'm saying? But you're dying because physically you cannot control yourself. You have no self-control. So I'm just saying, you know, listen, prayer does not change things. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. Prayer does not change things. Go back and look how many times you prayed. How many... Yeah, look, just look at how many times you know your prayers wasn't answered. Because it doesn't work that way, everyone. There's a proper way of praying, and there is an effective way of praying. So if there's a proper way of praying, there is an improper way or wrong way of praying. If there's an effective way of praying, then there's an ineffective way of praying. You got that, everybody? Well, I pray and hope, you know, this message has been a blessing to you. And if it has, you know, then I ask you to partner up with me. I want you to go ahead and sow a seed. Sow a seed to what you heard. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you go to a restaurant, you know, you get served, you know, and you not only pay for the food, you know, but you want to also show gratitude, you know, to your waiter and tip. You know what I'm saying? So, uh So we'll see. You can z you can zelly or you can vemo, uh, you know whatever it is, and and let's build a strong foundation to eradicate, annihilate, destroy, you know, and get rid of presumptions. You know what I mean? Get rid of ignorance. Get rid of, you know, of 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 tradition. Get rid of rituals. Get rid of stupidity in the church. You got that, everybody? I'll see you at the top. If you don't stop, enjoy going out with my niece's song. She wrote, promoted this album that just came out. You know, go on all the platforms and purchase some of the songs. All the songs she wrote and produced. They call her Fee. F-E-E. -E. Fly. Out of this place. All right, you guys. Anything away from that, then it's a fee, uh Take the weight off your shoulders, you